for the eight finalists in the girls 100 meter hurdles girls 100 meter hurdles will be the next event on the track at six o'clock these eight finalists should check in at the clerk's tent and confirm your lane assignments jordan wheaton of pinkerton sydney lavelle of exeter emily plant of salem patrina ofori of alburn morgan doherty of concord Annika Scott of Bedford, Grace Odell of Bedford, and Caroline Weeks of Portsmouth. Those are your eight finalists in the girls 100 meter hurdles. Those eight finalists, please check in at the clerk's tent to confirm your lane assignment for the finals and get your hip number. Wheaton, Lavelle, Plant, Ofori, Doherty, Scott, Odell, and Weeks. long jump. All competitors in the boys long jump. Please check in at the long jump with the long jump official. First and only call for the boys long jump. Here are the eight finalists in the boys 110 meter hurdles. These eight finalists should check in at the clerk's tent. Confirm your lane assignment and get your hip numbers. The eight finalists in the boys 110 meter hurdles, Bryce Foster, Manchester Memorial, Ian Ripperger, Portsmouth, Christopher Chong, Bedford, David Jakes, Salem, Calvin Duffy, Winnicott, Samuel Epstein, Merrimack, JJ Powers of Bedford, and Colby Ramshaw of Londonderry. Those eight boys, please check in at the clerk's tent. Get your hip numbers and lane assignments for the finals of the boys' 110-meter hurdles. Foster, Ripperger, Chong, Jakes, Duffy, Epstein, Powers, and Ramshaw. Eight finalists in the girls' 100 meter dash. These eight girls should report to the clerk's tent. Pick up your hip numbers, confirm your lane assignment for the finals of the girls' 100 meters. Anna Kunish, Ayana Broswell, Grace Kunish, Alexis Best, Soraya Ross, Janelle Thomas, Eva Roberts, and Rosalinda Tavares. Those eight girls, please check in at the clerk's tent, confirm your lane assignments, and get your hip numbers for the finals of the girls' 100 meters. Anna Kunish of Exeter, Diana Broswell of Nashua South, Grace Kunish of Exeter, Alexis Best of Merrimack, Soraya Ross, Nashua South, Janelle Thomas, Nashua North, Eva Roberts of Pickerton, and Rosalinda Tavares of Nashua North. Here are the eight finalists for the boys' 100 meter dash. These eight boys need to check in at the clerk's tent to pick up your hip numbers. Jockey Tungaroo of Concord, Aiden McDonald of Salem, 
A.J. Sebastian of Manchester Memorial, Jacob Spezaferi of Pinkerton, Ahmed Nada of Portsmouth, Chris Stevens of Keene, Quinn Marino of Concord, and Ledger Russell of Bedford. Those eight boys, please report to the clerk's tent. Confirm your lane assignment and get your hip numbers. Tunderu, McDonald, Sebastian, Spezaferi, Nada, Stevens, Marino, and Russell. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to pause the action briefly, so I'm going to ask the field events to pause for a moment. We're asking all the field event people, shot put, discus, javelin, pole vault, high jump, and, long, and triple jumps, if you would pause for a moment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, at this time, I ask those of you who are able to please stand. Remove your hats. Please direct your attention to the flag of the United States of America. And now, our national anthem. Thank you.
Thank you for your patience. Very important that we do that on Memorial Day weekend. Will be the finals of the girls' 100 meter hurdles. Finalists are at the start line. Here are the lane assignments. Lane one, Grace Odell. Lane two, Morgan Doherty. Lane three, Emily Plant. Lane four, Jordan Wheaton. Lane five, Sydney Lavelle. Lane six, Petrina Ofori. Lane seven, Annika Scott. Lane eight, Caroline Weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, our starters asked if everyone could please be very quiet for the start of these races. This will allow the athletes to focus on the starting commands. This is the finals of the girls' 100 meter hurdles. timing and yes that was Jordan Wheaton of Pinkerton winning in 14.84 seconds Cindy Lavelle of Exeter 14.93 third was Plant of Salem 15.70 fourth Scott of Bedford 16.18 fifth Ofori of Alvern 16.29 and sixth Doherty of Concord 16.31 Seventh week of Portsmouth, 17.08. Eighth Odell of Bedford, 17.46. But your winner and Division I champion in the girls' 100 meter hurdles, Jordan Wheaton of Pinkerton, winning time 14.84 seconds. Congratulations. Looks like our first flight of the boys' discus has completed. The second throwers in the second flight are warming up. So again, a reminder, stay well clear of the discus sector. Do not go in the infield. The boys' discus is underway. call for the girls triple jump. First and only call for the girls triple jump. All competitors in the girls triple jump please report to the triple jump. Event on the track will be the Finals of the boys, 110 meter hurdle. Calvin Duffy, David Jakes, Bryce Foster, Christopher Chong, Ian Ripperger, Samuel Epstein, and Kobe Ramshaw. Bryce Foster of Manchester Memorial, winning in 15.41 seconds. Second was Ripperger of Portsmouth, 15.52. Third, Chong of Bedford, 15.54. 
Fourth, Duffy of Winnicunit, 15.94. Fifth was Ramshaw of Londonderry, 16.03. Sixth, Jakes of Salem, 16.03. Seventh, Epstein of Merrimack, 16.06. And eighth, Powers of Bedford, 17.01. But your winner and Division I champion in the boys' 110 meter hurdles, Bryce Foster. Manchester Memorial, time of 15.41 seconds. Congratulations. Next up on the track will be the finals of the girls, 100 meters. Here are the lane assignments. In lane one, Anna Kunish, Exeter. In lane two, Iana Broswell, Nashua South. In lane three, Grace Kunish, Exeter. Lane four, Alexis Best, Merrimack. Lane five, Soraya Ross, Nashua South. Lane six, Janelle Thomas, Nashua North. Lane seven, Eva Roberts, Pinkerton. In lane eight, Rosalinda Tavares, Nashua North. This will be the finals of the girls, 100 meter dash. Soraya Ross, Alexis Best of Merrimack, and it was Soraya Ross of Nashua South winning in 12.19 seconds, second best of Merrimack, 12.37, third Kunish of Exeter, 12.42, fourth Thomas, Nashua North, 12.50, fifth Braswell of Nashua South, 12.68, Sixth, Roberts of Pinkerton, 12.74. Seventh, Kunish of Exeter, 12.78. And eighth, Tavares of Nashua North, 12.83. Our winner and Division I champion in the girls' 100 meter dash, Soraya Ross of Nashua South, winning time, 12.19 seconds. Next up will be the finals of the boys, 100 meter dash. And yes, Ahmed Nada of Portsmouth winning a time of 11.01 seconds. Second was Spencer Ferry of Pinkerton, 11.06. Third, McDonald of Salem, 11.08. Fourth was Stevens of Keene, 11.10. Fifth, Sebastian of Memorial, 11.22. Sixth, Marino of Concord, 11.27. Seventh, Tungaroo of Concord, 11.33. Eighth, Russell of Bedford, 11.36. But your winner and Division I champion in the boys' 100 meter dash, Ahmed Nada of Portsmouth, winning time 11.01 seconds. Back 
now are our finalists in the girls. 1600 meter run. Girls 1600 meter run. Girls will be making four laps of the track. On the track now, Fiona Doherty, Don Giabrasio, Anna Shepard, Isabel McIntyre, Allison McFarland, Reagan Hoy, Molly Nyhan, Alina Pinkowski, Abby Goulis, McKenna Alden, Sophie Mooney, Olivia Welch, Brianna Anderson, Abby Martin, Kelly Ranta, Corinne Kinson, Ella Hoy, and Beckley Wooster. This is the first of four laps in the girls, 1600 meter run. A reminder to boys or anyone warming up in the infield, stay well away from the discus throw. Do not go near the lower part of the field. The top flight of the boys' discus is now in the ring. No one should be near the discus sector. Here are the results of the girls' discus. In the girls' discus, in sixth place, Troya Malott of Keene. Fifth place, Natalie Burgess, Nashua North. Fourth place, Phoebe Bartlett of Londonderry. Third place, Maria Acolano of Portsmouth. Second place, Madeline Novak of Nashua North. And the winner of the girls' discus, defending champion, now the 2022 Division I champion, Brianna Danis of Pinkerton Academy. Winning throw 134 feet 8 inches. Congratulations. Fiona Doherty and Dante Abrasio leading the pack through, halfway through the girls' 1600 meter run. event winners. New Hampshire track and field .com is looking to interview all the winners. Their red tent just passed the finish line. So head down and check out Brianna Danis of Pickerton and the discus. Ahmed Nada in the boys 100 meters. Bryce Foster in the hurdles. Jordan Wheaton in the girls hurdles. And Soraya Ross can be interviewed at the red tent. One lap to go. In the girls 1600 meters, Fiona Doherty carrying the pace.
halfway. About 100 meters to go. Fiona Darty played a battle for a second. Bishop Burton winning in 5 minutes, 12.62 seconds. Isabel McIntyre, tight race for second. McIntyre of Dover, second, 5 minutes, 16.62. Third was Shepard of Keen, 5 minutes, 16.93. Fourth, Brasio, Nashua North. call for the girls pole vault. First and only call for the girls pole vault. All competitors in the girls pole vault, please check in at the pole vault. The boys 1600 meter run. <laughs> Sam Hiltz of Conquer, Torn Kindock, Keen, John Murphy of Conquer, Luke Brennan of Pinkerton, Matthew Fairhurst of Timberlane, Nicholas Marcotte of Alvern, Willard Hoffmaster of Exeter. Tyler LaValle of Memorial, Tyler Watts of Concord, Avery Crowell of Portsmouth, Jason Raza of Pinkerton, Zach Egan of Spalding, Sean Fifield of Concord, Carson Fisher of Bishop Girton, Thomas Brower of Central, Yas Schaumer of Bedford, Cameron Petronic of National South, and Brock James of Salem now on the track. Halfway through, two laps to go. Sam Hiltz carrying the pace ahead of Torrent Kendock and John Murphy. Asking John Snell, could you report to the pole vault, please? Merrimack coach John Snell to the pole vault. Speak with the pole vault official, please. John Snell, Merrimack High School, to the pole vault, please. Thank you.
top three runners approaching the finish line. They'll get the bell one lap to go. This is Sam Hiltz of Concord leading Torin Kindop of Keene and John Murphy of Concord. They're through in 317, so the Division I record of 416.09 may be in danger here if they can push this last lap. Keen moving into the lead. And coming to the finish, this is Torin Kindop of Keen. For 16.09, I think that just equaled the Division I record, Torin Kindop of Keen. Now for 16.74. Boys coach check in at the boys pole vault. Either John Snell or Joe Sanborn, if you would, please head over to the pole vault. Check in with Nancy Eastman. John Snell or Joe Sanborn of Merrimack High School to the pole vault area, please. Please check with Nancy Eastman. event on the track will be first of three sections in the girls four by 100 meter relay this first section will have Timberlane, Keene, Winnicott Memorial, Londonderry and Dover going to check the Exchange zones, make sure they're all set. The first zone, I see a white flag, they're good. Zone two, we have a white flag up. Zone two is ready. And zone three, we're looking for a white flag to confirm that all the runners are in their lanes, ready to go. A white flag in zone one, a flag in zone two. We're looking for confirmation of the final exchange zone to make sure we're all set. Looking for a white flag. Zone three, do we have confirmation that we're all set? We're looking for a white flag from one of our referees. Oh. Things over to our starter. This is 
Section 1 of the girls 4x100 meter relay, Timberlake, Keene, Winnipeg, Memorial, Londonderry, and Dover. Michael Detour, please report to the boys long jump. Michael Detour, to the boys long jump. Michael Detour, please check in with the official at the boys long jump.